All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the job variation feature of VersaWorks. It's a great little feature if you need to run multiples of the same job off to do some tests, check colors, quality, etc., without having to physically load three, four, five different versions of the job into the RIP. So if you right click on your job, you'll see there generate job variation. There's a few choices. So you've got quality, color management, and color adjustment. So we'll start with the quality. If you click next, these are the profiles in your VersaWorks program. So if you have more profiles loaded in than this, they will appear in the list. So we're gonna click a couple of these. Or one of these. And then we're going to click the three versions of the quality settings. Now, again, you've got more settings there. So I'm just going to click the three highest pass rate versions. So high speed, standard, high quality, all with the highest pass rates. You can pick more or less, as many as you want. Click OK, and it generates the job. This message is just because I'm using a small media on my SG300. And there you go, variation A, B and C. They will be labelled when it prints, which we'll see later in the video. But for now, we're going to delete that one off and show you another one of the variations. So we'll go to the colour adjustment. Click next. So you've got with various colours or specific. As you can see, all the different options there. So you can untick ones if you want to. or keep as many as you like. So we'll click the specific colour densities one. And again, there's your variations. Now I don't really use the, uh, the colour variants as much as I have done for other things, but the options there. And again, there's all your variations and they will be labelled so you can tell which one is which when they've been printed. So one more time, we'll go to the color management. I do use this one quite often, it is very handy. So there are all the color management options that you have. So I'm gonna choose a few different ones. So we'll go pre-press, sign and display, max impact, true rich two and true rich three. And there you can see they're all labeled on the right hand side there, which one is which. So click okay. Again, don't worry about this message, it's because I'm using a small media, so it's just rearranging them, as you can see on the right, so they fit the media on the machine. And we're gonna print that one off. Okay, so not to bore you, it's already printed. As you can see there, there's the five different variations of the same artwork I have. So we're just gonna slice that off the printer, and then we'll show you what they look like. So here's the variations. Now, as I've mentioned, each one is labeled. So as you can see, variation A, pre-press general. Variation B is the sign and display. It does have the print time and the ink used as well, which is quite handy. Variation C, variation D, all with the different versions of the color management and E there. Now it is quite difficult to see on camera but they are different when you look at them with the naked eye especially the cyan on that version to that version. It's a really handy feature, really useful if again you want to do multiple copies of the same job without having to generate so many different artworks.